The cold weather doesn't just affect how much money you spend keeping your home warm. It also has an impact on how much you spend at stores. Some businesses suffer when it snows because many of us are, frankly, in hibernation mode. But other companies are thriving. News H Josh Scheinblum in New Haven. Good this afternoon. Morning. Good what? afternoon, Keith. We are here. Good just afternoon, Josh. Of, uh, Good afternoon, Keith. We're here just off of uh, Elm Street, uh, right outside of our News 8 studios. And uh, I had a question for you, but I'm just going to assume I know the answer because Keith has been here a little bit uh, longer than I have. And the question I was going to ask Keith is how long this bike has been here? Certainly as long as I have worked at News 8, this bike has been <laughs> sitting outside the studio. It has now, been there for a while. Exactly. Now we have <laughs> we have had uh, the people's backs here of uh, Connecticut for a very long time, and I just want to get a special message over his bike. This is because we want to have your back just a little bit more today. It's cold, and now it's frozen in place. So if you, this is yours. Please come get it. We want to give you your bike back. But unfortunately, as we move forward in the day, it doesn't look like it's going to be getting easier for all the folks in New England who've left their bikes outside. I can't feel my ears, my lips, my nose. I would definitely recommend scarves, perhaps covering your face. I'm kind of whether you have to dress in layers and try to stay try to stay warm. Staying warm can be challenging when the air outside feels like it's below zero. But I can go out for several hours at a time and be quite content. This is Tess Maggio, and she claims to have found a way to stay warm on a frigid day. But you'll have to buy a pole and some skis. You know, you're, you're, you really are making the best out of a cold day here today. <laughs> yes, and I'm looking forward to also having a nice warm breakfast later on. Not everyone, however, is excited about it being a cold day. People like Leo LaFrance, who sells newspapers in downtown New Haven, I got here just before 5 o'clock this morning. Tells us when temps are low, it has a negative impact on sales. People are not going out. People are not going, they're staying where it's warm. And that hurts the, the business. But while the cold temperatures may mean a slow business day for some, for others, this is the time where they make their money. For you guys. It's great. Really good. We got a lot of contracts. In Connecticut, cold weather is a way of life. The question is, can one adapt and blaze their own trail? You didn't have a good time. Now, we want to, again, remind people as they step outside, it feels like, at least by my guess, that it feels like it's below zero out here. Very, very chilly. So if you do go outside, make sure, of course, you get the gloves on, you get the extra layers on, because if you have had frostbite before, you're actually more likely to get it again. For now, we're live in New Haven. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.